Okay, so the first one on the homework, I'm just going to go over a couple. Um, it, it deals with expressions and then understanding the order of operations. So it says write an expression to match the diagram. I didn't have them do this one. They are going to have them do this. So if I wanted to figure this out, the f obviously the first thing I'd have to do, because I know that this part that the question mark is shaded, is one-fourth of 17 plus 4. So I know like 17 plus 4 has got to be in parentheses because I'd have to do that first. And then because it's one-fourth of, I'm multiplying it by one-fourth. So what I want to do now is I just want to do one portion of that problem and just go down one portion at a time. So 17 plus 4 is 21. And I'm just going to write the problem as exactly as it exists. I'm going to change that to a division sign because that will make it easier for me to interpret. So 21 times 1 divided by 4. And now I can put parentheses around the part that I'm going to do next. I'm going to do 21 times 1, which is 21, divided by 4. So I can see because 21 doesn't go into 4, I'm not going to get a whole number. Anytime you're doing any scratch work, do it on a separate sheet of paper or go off to the side to do that so it doesn't mess up your sequence over here. So I have 21 divided by 4 is five, um, it's going to go in 5 times. And then I have 1 over 4 left. So I know my answer is 1 and 5 fourths, and I'm going to circle it. Oh, 5 and 1 fourth. Okay. Um, and then I would just circle that. So um, I'm going to go over a couple down here as well. So this one is, let's look at B. It says subtract 4, so I know I'm going to subtract. Um, I know I'm going to be subtracting 4 from 1 6 of 42. So it's talking about subtracting 4 from actually both of these because it's talking about these as a unit. So I want to put those, I want to put parentheses around those. So 1 6 of 42. When I talk about a fraction of a number, I'm actually multiplying. So that would look like 1 6 times 42, and I'm subtracting 4 from that. Now I want to manipulate this a little bit within the parentheses. Um, when you're doing the fraction of a number, I usually like to get the, lar the whole number first. So 42 times 1 6, that's in parentheses, minus 4. And I'm going to rewrite with that with the division symbol to make it easier, 42 times 1 divided by 6 minus 4. So I have to do the parentheses first. So 42 times 1 is 42 divided by 6 minus 4. 42 divided by 6 is 7 minus 4. 7 minus 4 is 3. So my answer would be 3 for that one. So it's just understanding some of the other language that you'll see is sum. We talked about sum means adding, okay? Um, One-eighth the sum, so you're talking about the fraction of a number. So anytime something is the fraction of, you're multiplying by that fraction. Um, seven times, times would be multiply, and again, sum is adding.